tell me down in the comments what's your weakness when you go to the yarn store what can't you resist buying even though you might be on a yarn ban what can't you resist buying when you're at the yarn store have you ever been on a yarn ban I have been on a yarn ban and then I had to go to the yarn store for one thing beads for a project that I'm going to commence very soon do you think I came home with just that one thing no of course I didn't it's a yarn store has this ever happened to you this is really yummy I have used some of this yarn before in my circular knitting machine this is Annette Erickson frost as I said, I have used some of this before. I've got white and silver and black and silver. And when I was there, they had this amethyst. If you know me well, you will know that purple is my most favourite colour. So I'll give you a close-up of this. It is 9% wool, 21% acrylic, 70% polyamide. Next we have some more sparkly yarn. I did buy quite a bit of sparkly yarn this time. This is called Moda Vera Daisy. I had not seen this before. Uh, it comes in quite a range of colours, so of course again I have some of the purple, but I also bought the white sparkle. Now the reason why I buy white sparkle, and I have already got some white sparkle yarn in my stash, but it's called a uh, Starlight, I believe, and it has been discontinued. This I've purchased with the idea of making a shawl for my mum. I borrowed one of her shawls, it was white and silver brocade, and lost it on the cruise. Well, actually, I think somebody took it. So I have been making her white and silver shawls to replace the one that I lost. So I've got the purple and the white. This goldy kind of colour, this kind of... Um, more beigey kind of a colour. So quite a few balls of this this colour. Well, I'll put uh, three balls of most colours I think. Uh, four balls of the purple. So this is Motivera Daisy. 41% acrylic, 18% nylon, 12% mohair, 23% glitter and 6% superwash wool. All of these yarns were on special I would not have bought them if they weren't on special. I am at least that much disciplined, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't look very disciplined, does it? Second bag of yarn. And what do we have in here? Karen Latte Cakes. This is quite fluffy. I've seen many reports that this works really well in the circular knitting machine. I do already have some of this already that I haven't yet used. But I am planning to do quite a lot of projects on my knitting machine. So I bought two cakes of this. Most yarn was 40% off. This is 58% acrylic, 42% nylon. And there's like 485 metres in each ball of these. So that's going to make quite a lot of things. These are also Karen cakes, so these are Karen skinnies. I really like the white, grey, black gradients. So again, that's going to make some really nice stuff on the circular knitting machine. It's slightly thinner than the uh, latte cakes, but I think it will still do a good job in the knitting machine. So this is 100% acrylic. And then I have two balls of the Line Brand Landscapes. I really like this, it's beautiful and soft. I've recently finished making myself a cardigan and a beanie out of this and I still want to make so myself some fingerless gloves. Plus I may also make a scarf, so I've got a whole matching set. And then just some plain old spot saver, making sure that I got the 10 ply because the 12 ply, which some of the spot saver is 12 ply, does not work terribly well and these two colors I got particularly to go with this which I know works really well in my machine I've used this before I've got a beanie hanging up behind me that I made using this yarn 
So I know this works quite well and it'll be really nice with a um, contrasting colour brim, either the black or the brown. I might even try some other colours as well. So I did buy two balls of this tweedy kind of look colour. That's the second bag. Now on to the last bag. This bag has quite a few bits and pieces in it because I bought lots of very small items. The main thing that's in this bag is material because they did also have printed linen and linen blends on special. I've recently only started buying linen. With it being on special, I thought I would grab myself some more. Now the main thing I went to Spotlight for, this is the main thing I went to Spotlight for. I did buy quite a few of these because I need a lot. I need about 460 odd of these beads for a knitting project that I'm about to start. I'm going to use the Kid Silk Lace that my daughter bought for me to make a capelet, I guess you would call it and has beads on the first row so I found these beads quite some time ago bought a, just one strand to see how they would look and I think they're going to look great so then I need to go and buy the rest of them so this is what I actually went to Spotlight to buy I did buy them I did actually buy what I went for so that's a good start but I did buy a lot of other things as well as you can see in the linen I have this beautiful, it's a mauve and purple print, probably looks a bit grey in the camera. And then something different for me, something in green. It has got blue flowers on it as well, which you can see in this shot. So that's a different kind of colour for me, but I wanted something that wasn't purple and wasn't just a plain linen either. And then I found this one, which I really liked. It has Australian animals all over it. So you can see there's a kookaburra there, and there's a parrot, and there's a little honey eater kind of bird right over the corner, and grevilleas and bottle brushes. I'm probably going to make myself a top with this. I bought myself some linen pants last summer, so I'll make myself some tops to go with the linen pants. We have lots of little nicks and knacks. Now one of the little nicks and knacks are also items that I need to go with the beads. These are very, very tiny crochet hooks. This is a 0.6 millimeter and this one's a 0.4 millimeter. You need something that's gonna go through the eye of the bead and then pull your yarn through. I had a 0.8 millimeter and it wasn't quite doing the job so I wanted to get some smaller ones so these are again in line with the current project so they're an okay purchase and then I found this steampunk range now this is these are incredible I just fell in love with these and bought way too many of them I'm going to use these in conjunction with the beanies that I make. A lot of people put little charms or buttons or those kinds of things on their beanies. And I will just run through these and show you which ones I got. A set of birds, a set of clocks and watches. I really liked these ones. A bat, a whole bunch of arrows, a cog with some bits and pieces hanging off it. So we've got a heart a key, uh, a god's eye and a spiral, a scarab beetle with a fake opal background, really liked him, really liked all of them as you probably can tell, a whole bunch of different keys, a bunch of different hearts and lastly an elk or stag head. So there you have it, that's everything that I bought when I was on a yarn band. So I think I really need to take a chaperone the next time I go to Spotlight and I'm looking for one thing in particular. Don't you? Do you take a chaperone when you go to the yarn store? Whichever yarn store that happens to be. I'm going to make some great things with this. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you would hit the like button. It will help the video get out to more people 
and it will also let YouTube know what kind of videos you like to watch so it will show you more of them in your recommendations. If you'd really like, please subscribe as well. That would make my day. What yarn adventures have you had lately in the yarn store? Show me your haul. I want to see. That's it for me. Bye. See you next time.